What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. I'm Chris. That's Mike. This is Nosferatu. Yes, it is. Season two, episode seven. seven. Damn. Cripple, Cripple Creek. Cripple, Cribbity, Cribbity, Cribbity. Super good. Cribbity, Crabbity. I'm going to beat, this... beat you. I'm going to beat you and answer the question that you're already going to answer me is how, what do I think? Yeah. So, dude, honestly, this has been such a real good, entertaining season. You're liking it, huh? I, I really am. I, I, compared to, the, I mean, listen, I'm not going to knock the first season at all, but this is like above and beyond to me. I really, one thing, I think two of my favorite episodes have really been like the Manx backstory stuff. Like yeah. the flashback when he was older with his wife yeah. and Millie. And then now we see him as a, as a boy, as a young man, even what, 13, yeah. what, 14, whatever, wherever he is. But I think those have been like my favorite episodes. Yeah. I agree because they're showing... Because we're getting backstory, like we're not just seeing, you know, uh, ha Haverhill or whatever, or Colorado. Yeah. Like we're getting, yeah. we're getting to see the character. Like we saw, mm -hmm. we saw how uh, Vic grew up, so that's the thing already. You yeah. know, we didn't really see Matt Maggie much, but you know, but seeing yeah. Manx is yeah, it's 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 dope. It's dope to to see. Yeah. You know, and it's also back in time, and it's like so. Yeah, it's I agree, man. It's th those those have been my. Some of my favorites as well, and this this episode was just this is this is a, this is a messed up episode, man. This yeah. is messed up. You know, there's yeah. a there's a lot. You really get to see a lot, and since we already know Bing's childhood, it yeah. gets obviously it gets brought up in this episode, which is which is really interesting. Manx really put on the ropes, and um, I liked it. I liked seeing Manx getting put on the ropes but we'll get more yeah. into that in a little bit we have questions about that let's just real quick talk about the poll yes uh we put up a poll cat will manx kill bing on this episode that we're talking about um i'm gonna say uh it was about <laughs> split i had 50 yeah. percent were like you said yeah and then the 50 about 50 percent between facebook and youtube yeah i averaged them excuse me average them together yeah so 50 percent said yeah 50 percent said they didn't think so mm -hmm. so we obviously know he didn't yeah but yeah uh you know you know bing got bird shit in his mouth so <laughs> i was reading so many so many comments about people like oh it was my the highlight of the episode kind of a thing but you know um, uh, you know what it is man and the guy got shot in the shoulder and he's like yeah in his chest and he got finished fine and it's funny because i'm watching a show called under the dome with my with my kids my wife mm. and i we, we've seen it before but uh, well, we watched the first two seasons. It's three seasons, and the kids we like. Hey, do you want to watch a show? So, so we're watching it with the kids, and like the people are getting shot in the shoulders, and they're just like fine. And it's like, yeah, yeah. People get rushed to the hospital with gunshot wounds, mm -hmm. like, and these people are running around the woods and beating each other up, and it's like, oh, yeah. TV. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Anyway, right. so yeah, so we, we've got some <laughs> questions. Let's just jump in, right, man? Just, Go for man, it. Let's jump in. You got first one, man. Uh, all right, that's right. Uh, Michelle C. writes, will Millie find her way out of Christmas land before it's too late? Uh, I'll tell you what. You watch Coming Attractions? Yes, I did. Okay, so she sees Vic outside mm -hmm. of Christmas land. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, veil, I don't know. that veil between the worlds yeah, is very, let me ask you this. very do you, thin. Do you think now, I don't, mm, this was not obviously, the, well, I'm not obviously, but I'll let you all know. This was not in the book. I don't remember mm -hmm. it being in the book. Mm -hmm. um but you know what do you what do you guys think about what mike what do you think about having millie escape like this is like very interesting to me like yeah do you um, like do you like what they're doing how they're how how they've decided to take millie and and play her against manx what do you think yeah no i really enjoyed that i mean we have questions really about that coming up too so for her to 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 her for her to visit the house and be intrigued to visit the house and kind of to finally start getting um some information about her father that i mean the, the kid's brainwashed obviously she was telling her mother in this yeah. in this episode about um no women are women are uh, whores and all these kind of things so millie has been brainwashed for so long so i really enjoy the fact that she's she sees her former self um, I like where they're, where they're going with the character. And, um, yeah, I mean, we, we've been kind of answering this question for the past, what, four episodes, five episodes about mm -hmm. the kids, not even just Millie, just the kids themselves. Can they can they escape once they're there? So we're getting a lot of that information um, 
in drips and drabs. Like every episode, we're getting a little bit more. So I do like the fact that uh, Millie will um, hopefully try and escape and try to leave. I don't think she can. I, I'm still. I think I'm still in the camp that they can't because the one kid did and disappeared. Well, so, maybe there's something that they have I, to do. Uh, maybe, but maybe, maybe. All right. You know what? So yeah. So I, all right. So you think there might be the a child? Chance. The child did go come into the world so maybe there's something that has to happen in the real world first before the child can step through from christmas land or you know so i don't know i just really like that stuff and i think that um millie's mother really got to her well even even look at look at when when she was sitting with herself and they were and she was actually excited about like opening presents and things well because she was yeah she got to be a, a kid you yeah. Know. Let's tell you what. Let's go to the next question because mm-hmm. it deals with this. Uh, it's from Jesse. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah. What do you? Well, well, Jesse wanted to know what do we think the title of Cripple Creek means. Mm. She says, "I look at I look at it as a messed up uh, that that Bing and and Manx's childhood were like messed up, and that the house that Millie went in is where Manx's deepest fears are, which is what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Um, and yeah. why he doesn't let her go in there, basically because." Mm-hmm. So obviously, and and this dawned on me as well. So one of his fears is that his daughter will grow up to be a woman who he, who he dis, he's just a woman hater. He just doesn't like. Women no, absolutely. The, Look at for, I mean, <laughs> for all the reasons, right? But yeah. I also think that the mom is there because yeah. that's a like. It's like his. It's like a regret. I feel like. I feel like yeah. he regrets that she was killed, even though you, you know think? what I mean. Yeah. Well, that's why she's. Why would she be there then? Why would she be there in that form? He keeps he keeps Millie as a young girl there, and then he keeps her there as a yeah. Deformed... I guess he could have maybe he could have killed her off or something, right? Instead of yeah. giving her the place in Candy Cane Mountain or whatever. So I think I so... think it's a bit of I think it's a place for his fears and regrets and remorse. Yeah, yeah. Because he is, after all, human. But you know, you know. Yeah. So yeah. So and what does Cripple Creek mean? See, I was thinking at first, did that have something to do? Was that that wasn't the name of the of the creek, the lake or anything, right? No, there wasn't anything so, no. where the cabin is or anything. I think it's just one of those, you know, titles like like the first couple episodes was the Good Father and the Bad Mother. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. just, you yeah. know, I I actually I think I kind of like agree with Jesse that it just it just has to deal with that. You know, we're talking about you know these the the, the kids growing up. You know, enough for nothing. That was a, that was that was pretty messed up. And and the the obviously we get to see his mom in action, Manx's mom, and and the whole yeah. that yeah you know the disgusting pedo and what he was doing and you know Manx just you know finally he he you know it happens to him finally and he kills a guy. But what I really liked yeah. was the mom was like you knew, the mom's like yeah. you knew stop like, yeah th- like she yeah. called him out on it. And it's at yeah. that moment that he comes into his power. I mean, I saw, you know, yeah, I read like, a couple um, of things online where it's like, this is where he came into his power. And yeah. first of all, the snowmen outside were dope. I thought that was, I thought that was cute. Just that. Well, those, as soon as he like kills them, they have that bugged out face, that Christmas land face. That's on what them. I'm the saying. Like they change. just pop into the window and they're looking, they're like, hey, yeah. yeah. It's weird. It was yeah. really creepy how like, yeah, maybe maybe it was that it was. I mean, listen, he has he has a vehicle as his knife. That was his original knife. The original the, knife was right. Was the that. sled? And you know? and did you get this? Mm. You understand? He used the sled to kill. So he yeah. used his knife to kill, and mm-hmm. and there you go. That's what. Ha- that's why the wraith is yeah. that. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, what? And, and, you know, since we're talking about that, actually, let me bring that up while we're in the middle of talking about that. Now that I mentioned that so M- Michelle Gray will Gray will uh, uh, let the comment uh, for for me on on our Facebook group. And I've been waiting to get back to her because I wanted to do it on the video mm-hmm. here. So uh, Michelle had mentioned that, you know, there is a comic, uh, like a graphic novel called The Wraith, which goes into the background of, of the, the car and everything. Yeah. Like that. So if you guys want to check that out, by all means, I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. However. Just so that's what I'm saying. So speaking of that, so now I don't know the background of that. I haven't read it, but just by what we saw in this video, this this um, episode, I mean, yeah, he uses the wraith. He uses his knife to kill, which is mm-hmm. which is where that began. So when he when he finally killed his mom, like when he killed his mom, that's what happened. So maybe because he's using the knife, that that's what happened. He was using his knife. 
So the, mm-hmm. and that, and if you think about it, Mike, that's the only reason he can get the Christmas land is through his knife. Obviously, everyone's got to use their knife to break the reality. Yeah. So he used his knife as a weapon, and that's how he broke the reality. Whereas Maggie and Vic use it a little differently, and the yeah. and 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 so does the. Uh, the uh, the hourglass man again a little bit different because he's not he's not necessarily cutting through reality like his is a little more arbitrary this is more like. yeah yeah because yeah. he's using his knife to see he's he's a very interesting power but you know and i'm not sure how it i mean he can obviously i well we didn't we never seen him in parnassus right no 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 but no, no. So, I mean, for him, can he get there? Can he break into that altered reality where the other creatives can go? I mean, I'm kind of curious about that. Well, I, mean, I he guess did get a... I guess he can. But my, my, yeah. my, 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 I don't want to go off into the weeds in this. So I was just saying that he yeah. uses his knife differently than the re- than yeah. what we know already. But anyway, so yeah, so mm-hmm. Manx uses his knife to kill, mm-hmm. which makes you know sounds yeah, perfectly two, normal. Two, but yeah, we know what we're talking people. about. Yeah. But I mean, saying that, that's when his that's when he that's when he cut through reality and stuff. Anyway, yeah, so, yeah. so it makes it, it's it really, it really for me opened up a door being like, ah, okay. Now we see that's how he uses his yeah. knife. It was death. It was, it was, you know, he did that. So, yeah. And it's a shame too. Cause you really feel bad for Charlie. This is really like the first time you kind of got a glimpse of like empathy for him. Mm-hmm. As far as he seemed to be a good entertainer. Yeah. Um, and then he gets involved in, picking children for Mr. Tim, I think it was his name was or something. Yeah. And finally, um, you know, the unfortunate circumstance of him getting, uh, you know, mm-hmm. Mr. Tim taking advantage of him, which was the cause of his, uh, his awakened ability. So it was kind of to see Charlie that way is, you know, it was, was great. And again, this is one of my favorite episodes of the, of the season so far. So yeah, really cool stuff. Um, all right, so you want to go into question three? Uh, hold on. But, 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 but. I, was actually, uh, I was actually looking. Since we're here, uh, Kim also had a mm. question. Uh, she says she felt bad for Charlie as a boy. We learned so much about his past. Yeah. Do you feel? Do you feel the same? And what do you think after seeing him gain creative abilities? I think we just covered yeah. that. I just realized. Yeah. Sorry, I yeah. just realized that that was one of the questions. Yeah. Okay. So obviously, yeah, that's how we feel. Like again, that's, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. that's that he 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 gained the ability okay, yeah. by using the knife and not gain the ability yeah. but it, it awakened when he was it using awoke, his knife. Yeah. yeah yeah it awoke so, and he had the, those those eyes like um static what would, yeah TV. but yeah. we saw that with um what was her name Joanne the roller skating lady yes remember with, yeah. we saw with the eyes and she had the big screen there mm-hmm. and all that with the static so i wonder if that has any kind of um I think, it's, I think it's just that. i think it's just visually how we can tell yeah. that that's where yeah. they it was i mean it really really cool stuff and yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah so they great acting that too great acting from these kids even like oh, millie, yeah. millie and and young um and young charlie all right so this will be i guess then this is the last one because we just did the right the kim's question so this is from danny um he says do you think wayne used his used power against bing um, without realizing, could he have had some kind of um, power of persuasion? Uh, he seemed to make Bing feel uh, empathetic to him. All right, so this is this is my take on this. We talked yeah. about this at length. I feel like the last episode, mm-hmm. but I don't, I don't think he has power. I don't think he has anything because mm-hmm. we just we just talked about people and creatives and their knives. He doesn't have a knife. What's his knife? He's not doing anything. I don't think Wayne has has power. If he is a creative, if he is going to be a creative in this world, there's got to mm-hmm. be he's got to have a knife, and there's got to be it's got to be a, a specific situation that will cause that. Yeah. I yeah. don't. I think Bing basically took it upon himself because right, Manx, he just woke up. Manx got to Bing, and Bing had this realization. Which I'm going to be honest. That's guys, what. That's my biggest problem yeah. about it. That this crazy guy that all of a sudden just kill people he yeah. murders his family he sleeps with his mother he rapes his mother he rapes other women he raped that the ha- dude the guy that made yeah. the, that fixed the the the, the car the car yeah. right like the so artist. so all of a sudden he just switches and now he's like ah I'm just gonna that's end why it all. that's my only that's my yeah. only um variable that right. can, yeah it's a little bit that can but... say well no that's maybe my only reason to thinking that wayne may have some kind of oh ability. yeah i don't 
Uh, he already... I don't know. I mean, I don't, it was kind of, they did kind of, he was, Wayne was kind of like, oh, please, you know, you really hurt. You know, I, like, yeah, but I don't, uh, listen, I feel so like I don't if, know, there was, they, if there was going to be some type of power transfer or something, mm. we would have seen it. There would have been a physical manifestation because we see it with everything else. Yeah, we I don't know. Maybe he's unique. Else. Maybe he's unique in a certain way, or maybe there's maybe I don't know. But now I feel you know. like then you're you're convoluting like without even hinting at it. Like you're convoluting it, and it's like, and he still is seeing his dad. He's seeing his dad. So, so... I wonder if that still has something to do with it because we talked about this last week. Why would the wraith? If he help knew him? his dad, like if he knew his dad, yeah. If he knew more about his dad, I would I would venture to say, oh, maybe he's con he's conjuring his yeah. dad, yeah. but. Maybe I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. So now you're saying yeah. he, so here's the thing. Now you're saying he sees dead people as a power. He can control the wraith. He can control people. Like there's too much. It's too much. Yeah. And for yeah. me, I say no. Then well, then we'll because see. of yeah. all these variables that be, if we're pulling mm -hmm. straws here and there, now nah, the answer is mm -hmm. then if, to me the answer is no. He doesn't have powers. Yeah. It was a narrative choice to have Bing see him. Just realize and, and come to realization. realization. But that's therein yeah. lies my problem is I don't. To me, that was a turn for the character that I just didn't believe. I yeah. didn't think. I didn't think Bing in that moment after everything he been all he's the gone heinous through, things and yeah. after what he just went through with with Manx. By the way, yeah. I I absolutely loved those scenes because mm. Bing really was like when Bing was like, "I'm going to teach you to tell you, you know, you you know, you're going to mm -hmm. see." Like he was doing mm -hmm. what he does to all his victims yeah and I, and I really enjoyed yeah him doing that to manx manx was getting some of bing's you know medicine and i thought that was mm -hmm. a real interesting thing yeah so yeah but anyway so yeah needless to say that i guess that was the, the his turn was you know but then of course you know wayne's still turning i know i know did you really think that he was gonna do that though it would have been way too easy well, obviously, uh, I Wayne just I knew to, I knew Wayne was gonna come back. I wanted to go into the screen and just like throw Wayne towards the street, you know, and just say get out of here. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm still like I said. I mean, I already said it. It's it's kind of. I'm still not 100 percent sure that Wayne doesn't have the ability because I just think that they kind of. I don't know. Just the way that that Wayne pleaded to Bing, kind of like it was. He's been. I think. I it think wasn't it's, just it's, a regular line. It was yeah. like they did it for us to to notice something. And I don't know. Saying, I don't know. I mean, he's he's. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sleepy. He's in and out. Like he's yeah. he 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 he's yeah. in and out. You know. So I don't know. I. It, it's it. I guess. I mean, listen. We'll see. Maybe he. Maybe there's something to to Wayne having a persuasive ability to kind of. Um, get Millie on board if he ends up in Christmas. I just, land I just don't something. think that there's an ability without a knife. You gotta have your. Uh -huh. What's he cutting through? What's he? Again, the out. We just spoke about the hourglass man. Mm. He's his ability is cutting through reality in a different way than everyone yeah. else we've seen. Yeah. The Parnassus is an in between because someone's cut. They cut through whatever that person's knife is. Cut through reality. Create the. Mm. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's a. There, they built this world, and there's an order I mean, to this we'll world. And there's listen, a Maggie, reason, Maggie's you know? ability, even though it seems her tiles, to be... her, no, her tiles cut through. That's her tiles or her knife. The hourglass, but herself is not going there. She's just getting information no, but there's, but there's given a, to her. But there's 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 a knife. There's a there's a physical thing that is creating the slice in reality that's what's well, the, the bag i don't i don't i don't necessarily think it's a slice in reality no, so, i just well, the tiles the, the tiles because she's not physically she's, going anywhere okay, like okay, max hold on, or hold on, vic hold on or... hold on hold on Let, let's rephrase this mm -hmm. they're channeling their ability through the knife yes i'll say it again wayne there is wayne doesn't have a knife there's nothing wayne we have not been shown wayne mm -hmm. using an object as a knife to access his power. That's yeah. what the hourglass man is doing. He's accessing his power yeah. through the knife of well, that hourglass. Maggie used her tiles. Yeah. Everyone, everyone manipulates I, the, the I, I realities see, differently. I see what you're but, saying. So there's no yeah. knife. So that's my point. There's no knife well, for him to access. Again, Manx used his sled and, and cut through, literally cut through people and reality. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. they, there's to me there's no night yeah so all right, all right. well i mean yeah. listen manx manx's whole purpose for vic was was for her to be the mother because she was so unique and he obviously sees something in her so maybe maybe wayne doesn't need one Maybe there's something even more spectacular about Wayne that I don't, we don't know about. You know, you know. I don't thing, know. I'm just, I'm just. I'm gonna bring I'm this just up. Saying. I'm gonna bring this up too. I want to go back to Michelle Gray Wolf. She, she had also said this in our mm. Facebook group. Uh, first of all, that you know, she started listening to our podcast. So thank you very much, Michelle. Yeah. Um, yeah. And thanks for being in the group and contributing. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, she says she also loved the audiobook, which I did as well, um, and mentions that. Uh, um, she didn't like what happened to Maggie, but we're not going to tell you that here. At the end of the season, we'll yeah. tell you what happens. You guys can I, talk in I like Facebook chat. Yeah, or I don't know if it's going to happen here, that. but yeah, that was pretty messed up. I, me- I guess because I'd mentioned that last week, but yeah, um, she has problems with the way that that they've changed some of the stuff from the book as well, and okay, re- but also realizes that you can't do the same stuff, right? And that's what we're mm-hmm. talking about here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I, I don't want to I don't want to get too deep into the book and tell you what happens to Wayne. No. But I got to go with what go, what they're showing me here. So And listen, I mean, who knows if either of you would have a different opinion if you didn't read the book before the series. Well, I'll tell you right now. I and I was thinking about this because I uh. I anticipated our, our, this seeing these questions, I anticipated this conversation. Even if I didn't read the book at this, I'm, I'm not even talking about the book. Mm-hmm. What I see right now, again, Wayne doesn't have any powers. And if he does, okay. he hasn't used anything. He hasn't used any of his powers because he doesn't, mm-hmm. he's not using a knife to, to access those yeah. powers. That's my All take. Right. So if All you right. guys agree, disagree, let me know. Yeah. This yeah. is what I feel. I, it's what they're it, it's it's what they're showing me. That's all I can yeah. go on. That's what yeah. they're showing me and what they've showed us and the rules that they have established in this world. Which by the way is a great world. I love this world. And and I yeah. hope I hope they do more. There's I'm in the middle of reading an article that uh Joe mm. Hill he did uh, an interview and you know about the world and and where he yeah. sees it going and Yeah. I have to finish the article, but if you I, I don't think there was something that I read. Did you read the one um I'll it was something it in, the group. in it was one of his one of Stephen King's books. One of the characters mentions if you're a bad kid or something. I don't know if it's a father talking to a son or something, but you better be careful because I'll call Charlie and Max and I'll take you to Christmas land. He mentions that Stephen King writes in one of his books. Recent? Like after I I'm after? not sure. Well there was another It I, has to be after. Yeah, they I think but they're they mention they kind of they kind of mess around, bit. they play yeah. around because remember yeah. remember the the mm-hmm. map we saw of yeah. the inscapes and we saw Pennywise's yeah. place in there and mm-hmm. Pennywise is obviously, mm-hmm. you know, from Stephen King's it. So yeah, yeah they, they like the, they're 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 like just playing. Which is with cool. Each other I like stuff. that. Yeah, stuff. they're they're going in and yeah. out of each other stuff, which is really cool because it's like they're both creating they're both writing in the same um, yeah. universe or adjacent universes which yeah i, which I, I mean really enjoy, so it's like stephen king is last thing i mean if you guys haven't ever seen creep show um you know from they have the a 80s. Show. you saw the new show on Shutter? yeah is but i'm, I'm talking it's on shutter but i'm yeah. talking the original creep show one creep show two he was in creep show joe hill he was yeah, a kid with uh, the comic books He's the kid that wanted to read that the was comic him? books. That was him. Okay, that, that makes com- that makes complete sense. But yeah. so was Stephen King. Stephen King played in in the movie, right, yeah. in the shows themselves. But it's short stories. Speaking of which, super creepy. Real quick, Under the Dome that I, yeah. I mentioned earlier is a, is a Stephen King book, which is a really good book. Oh, go okay. read it. And they made okay. a show about it. You can go watch the show. Yeah, okay. three seasons. They wrote a song about it? Too? And here, and there's about it. You want to hear it? Here it goes. <laughs> all right, cool. So that was awesome. Yeah. Guys, thank you, of course, for all the questions coming in. Thanks for the, to the Facebook um uh, chats and and people that are that are in the group that are leaving us messages we really appreciate that appreciate that kind of stuff these are fun videos for us so just keep those questions coming yeah. every week before the episode we always post so you can just um uh write your 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 questions to us in in the post there before the episode yeah. um yeah facebook uh, third person pod on all the social media outlets you can get to us check us out join that facebook group we have a link for another th- great um nasaratu amc uh facebook group in the description below so yep. check them out it's a huge community really fun fun stuff there so check us both out uh nasaratu is only two two three episodes three left episodes right? eight nine ten, ten. yeah uh, and we'll see what happens. We'll see if the show continues or if this is it or if they're going to do some prequels things because I've been hearing, I'm sure you probably heard some little things. I'm not yeah. necessarily sure how this is going to work. 
that's a that's a quick question for the end. Let me ask you quick. Would you rather it just end this story like the book? Not like the book, but would you like this season two to to finalize Nosferatu in this story? I'm I honestly would not mind because you don't want it to drag out. Like we always complain about how episodes drag out. Well, how here's the thing: the book out. ends, right? The book ends. Yeah, the book ends. Yeah. It has a, it has a final ending, right? Yeah. And whether or not it leaves it open for anything else, we'll worry about that later. Yeah, but prequels my point is, or anything, but just this story I'm saying itself. That this story, if this yeah. ends the season, I'm happy with that because yeah, that's that's it. Now, I mm-hmm. would love, love, love to see more stories. Mm-hmm. newly created i'm not i don't even yeah. i don't even, i don't need it to be something adapted from a prequel graphic novel or anything no make new stories based yeah. in this world i want i want to see i want to see the creative way they come up with new creatives like yeah. you know like we only have a handful of creatives here and i'm already going like exactly what i just mm-hmm. said this how's he mm-hmm. using that knife how's he uh, you know what i mean yeah. like i really enjoy this concept and i would they love can to really just more. do like a parnassus you know all just, the villains just, yeah make it all yeah the villains, and just you know yeah, yeah. and just see because there's i mean obviously walking into that bar or whatever there's we, we're seeing so many different uh, yeah. characters there so it'd be cool to kind of maybe dive into that but anyway i think that'll do it That's um it. we appreciate everything from you guys um if you're loving nasferatu uh check it out and join those groups yep that's it thanks we'll see you next time bye Peace.